Before explaining the solution of this problem, let me tell you that the solution of this problem given in the Arihan book, that is the book published by Arihan publishers, is wrong. So if you have that book, you should be careful about this particular problem. Now, why I am pointing out this is if you see the solution there, as a student, you may not be able to detect what is wrong there. This book is by Arihant, as you can see. It's CBSC chapter wise solved papers 2009 to 2017 on physics plus 12. Now, in this book, the solution of the problem is wrong. So if I turn the pages and go to that problem where the solution is given, see this is the solution given. As you can see, they have given the complete solution and they have got the answer to be 5a. But this answer is wrong. Here, they have calculated resistance between point A and B to be 2 plus 1 as 3 ohms. Then they have calculated that, that 2 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel. So this way they have proceeded to get the answer as 5 ampere. But this answer is wrong. This procedure is wrong. Why I am pointing out this mistake, this wrong solution in this book is that if you have this book as a student, you may not realize that this solution is wrong. And even if you realize that something is wrong here, you may not have the confidence to say that this solution is wrong. So the correct solution for this problem, I'll be explaining in the board. After you understand that solution, you come again here and you'll see that this solution is completely wrong. Okay, so let's proceed to the correct solution. The correct solution of this problem is like this. See, there are two diodes D1 and D2. This is a cell, the DC cell. So this side is positive. So if you look here, for this D1, this side is positive, this side is negative. So this will be forward biased. So current will flow through this. Okay, now for the diode D2, this side is positive, this side is negative, so this is reverse bias, so current will not flow through this. Okay, this is the first thing we should realize here. So current will flow through D1, but current will not flow through D2. So this branch of the circuit we can cut off because there is no current through this. So the circuit now reduces to this 6 volt cell, the 1 ohm resistor, then this is not there. Now here, this 2 ohm resistor is there, this is B, this is F. Now since they are going to be conducting, the resistance of this diode will be zero. So instead of D1, we can simply draw a line like this. So this circuit reduces to this. Now we have to find out the current through this resistance 1 ohm. We have to find out the current through this 1 ohm resistance. Now if you look at this circuit, it is very easy to see that this 2 ohm and 1 ohm are in series because the same current flows through both the resistors. From this circuit we see that the current I here will be total EMF in the circuit that is 6 volt divided by total resistance that is 2 ohm plus 1 ohm. So 2 plus 1 ohm 6 by 3 is 2 ampere. So the correct answer to this problem is 2 ampere. Okay, so, so this problem is a combination of diodes and resistors. 
we have to utilize the concepts of semiconductor devices and resistances connected in series and parallel to get the answer. Clear? As you can see, this problem is not very difficult. I don't know why Erdinger has made that mistake, so be careful about that.